So I'm just going to show you guys exactly how to spot like real cookies and fake cookies. It's pretty fucking easy, but um, I still be seeing a lot of people with fake cookies. So right here on the back, it will always have the exact dispensary it came out of. If it doesn't say the exact dispensary it came out of, then it's fake. There's no backdoor action at this shit. You cannot get any types of weed from cookies backdoor, which is impossible. Unless you... It's just impossible. I really don't think that Burn is dumb enough to have any type of backdoor process at all. But that's one way of seeing it. See that it says Comp Can right there. Even they have fake labels too. They'll have fake labels on them and they won't have the dispensary. That's always fake if it doesn't say the exact dispensary then you are smoking some fuckies and it always has right here it always either has indoor or outdoor on it if it doesn't have this stamp of approval see it's cookies certified they do this on purpose because uh, apparently the fucking the fakers want to fake it all besides faking the actual stamp of approval it's weird but they always have the collab brand, like, I don't know if they have a brand here, they didn't collab with the, any brand to do this one, but they got powers up on this one, they um have a couple other strains, I believe the Gary Payton, I believe the, um I don't want to say any r random ones, but I believe the Gary Payton at least is from Powers Up too. they have a bunch of different good strains, this one is definitely alright, this one is not top tier for the cookie strains, but it's alright, George Pie, always a hit never disappoints always get the georgia pie this is my favorite but see on this one it has the, the com can and a, incorporated or whatever the fuck that means and it has the end of a flower super easy to tell fake cookies and real cookies obviously i don't have any fake cookie bags i wish i had one just so i could sample show you guys but real talk it is very easy to tell you could even feel the material of the bags. Burner is on another level when he's trying to have these super slick, nice bags. So, if your bag feels like just a regular Mylar, then it's not it. You know what I mean? You do not want to be smoking some Kush in a cookies bag because then you're just going to have bad memories of cookies. And I can promise you... Even the bad strains, like this one is not top tier. Even this one is much better than any jokes up. Any of those super hyped up strain uh, brands that people just go to just because they want to fucking post it on their story. And they want their friends to be all fucking, ooh, look at him, look at him. But no one actually thinks that. No one even fucking cares what you smoke. As long as you're just smoking some gas. As long as you're not smoking some kush. But if you are smoking some fake cookies, then you are smoking some kush. So, smoke the real, leave the fake behind. This is 2020. Let's, let's start getting educated.